Today we're going to be testing out three different types of metallic mediums. So an iridescent medium, a silver metallic medium, and a gold metallic medium, all from Liquitex. Even my nails are fully prepared for this project, so let's get started. I've really been enjoying the Craftsmart multi-surface premium satin paint, so I decided that's what we're going to test this with in a rainbow array of colors. And I'm going to mark each of my little paint palettes with the medium type so I don't get them mixed up and then I'm going to add the mediums to the paint and stir it up. So I'm starting with the iridescent medium and I'm going to mix it in. It mixed in pretty easily and I'm not going to take the time to go through mixing every single color but we're going to go through each one. I'm adding the gold. The gold definitely had a warm tone to it so it almost seems like it fits better with some of the warm toned colors like orange. Whereas the silver was probably the hardest one to mix in. You'll see how difficult it was. Not difficult, but just, it just took more stirring. Um, and this one had the cool tone that looks good with like the blues and the purples. So just an interesting thing to note as we get started. You can kind of see the difference between the three as you look at them. The iridescent didn't change the colors a lot. The gold was a little bit more and then the silver seemed to change the colors the most as you're looking at them in the paint palette. So I'm not sure how that's gonna play out on the rocks, but we're gonna see how it goes. I'm curious how these mediums hold up on their own. So I'm gonna take the back of the rocks and add a coat of each medium. So this is the iridescent, and then I'm gonna add gold on another little Santorini tile, and then the silver, just to see how thin they are. You can see they're pretty thin, but it does kind of add a nice shimmer. So I could see this being useful maybe over black. Um, to give it a little bit of shimmer and shine, but just very subtle. Now I'm just gonna go through with each and do kind of a rainbow test strip on each of these little Santorini tiles with a few coats to make sure we've got nice solid coverage. This iridescent medium was not super noticeable. It, If you look closely, you can see a little bit of sparkle, not super noticeable. The gold, also was pretty muted, but it added a little bit of shimmer to it, um, but nothing super shiny or crazy as it was applied. And then I think the one that made the biggest difference was the silver. Just like it looked the most different in the palette, it significantly changed the color of the paint and I think made these look like metallic. Um, so it kind of softened them and made them more pastel and more metallic. So I think this one showed the biggest difference. So in looking at them dry, this is the iridescent. Not a whole lot of change. The middle one is the gold. It's a little bit lighter, not a ton of change. And then you can really see the silver medium had the biggest impact. I went ahead and took them outside as well because I didn't have the greatest lighting inside and I wanted to get a daylight shot just to give you the lightness of everything. So I think the biggest change was for sure the silver. I think if you were looking to find a medium that would help make regular paint look metallic, the silver had the biggest effect. My overall impression is that I was surprised that I didn't get more out of the iridescent and the gold. However, I think that more testing is needed. Because these are multi-surface paints, they tend to be shiny on their own. So I wanna test this with some matte craft paint and see if there is a difference. So you're gonna have to stay tuned and I will test it with some matte craft paints that do not have that shine to it and we will see if there's any difference and then then we can make a, a total decision on how these play out. Let me know in the comments what you thought about these mediums and if you would try them. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to stay tuned for a future video testing the iridescent mediums with matte paint. Take care and I'll see you next time.